Hello, my name's Karen Phillip. I'm the author of Who Runs Your House, The Kids or You? And I've been asked just to give you uh, a few ideas if you're ready to travel with your children. Holidays are coming up, always a great time for us adults to get away with our families, particularly if we get a nice, nice break from work. But the important thing that uh, a lot of adults have trouble with is the fact that their children may not be great travellers, that they whinge or they argue, and the journey, the very first day that we start off, may not set us up really well for a nice little break. So the first thing I tell parents to do is let the children know exactly where you're going. Give them an idea of what you're going to be doing, the activities, the enjoyment, the fun, or who you're visiting. The next thing is let them know how long the journey is going to be. So in other words, keep the children informed. If the child is a little older in, in primary school, they'll understand the concept of six hours, eight hours in the car. Younger children, of course, won't. So let them know it's going to be a very long time. Let them know that it may be as long as the time that they're at school, whether it be preschool or, or infant school. And make sure that you take enough activities in the car to keep the children occupied. Now, I usually suggest that we advise the children to go and pack a, just a, a little bag to take in the car with them. That could have some games, that could have some cards, that could have their DS or their tablet or iPad. So take those sorts of activities with them and some uh, CDs to play. And when they do do that in the car, it's a great idea to break it up. So don't let them sit there in the back for a few hours at a time. One with their head down, they may get car sick but also break it up so they don't get bored and start to argue. I do suggest that parents stop every couple of hours. They do tell us that, that it's important for a driver, but it's equally, if not more important, for the children. Take things like a ball, skipping rope, uh, chalk is great. Have them stop at one of those roadside um, parks that, that are set up all along the highways and get them to run around, do chasings game, throw the ball, get them to chase it. Even a balloon is great. We don't want to drop it because it'll break, but that's all right. So put up a skipping rope, give them a competition, have them run around, do a few races, take some chalk. They can draw anywhere and everywhere with chalk and they can even get up a, a quick hopscotch or whatever, or mum or dad can draw that for them to jump on. Just something to burn up some energy for about five minutes. And that's really, really important. Now, all of those things that we take on holidays are absolutely brilliant, but what we need to do if we're not going away on holidays is to ensure that our children have enough to do if they're staying at home for those couple of weeks in the school holidays. So I've got a whole list of different activities that mum or dad can do with their children at home. Uh, if you're near the beach or if you've got a sand pit out the backyard, build some sand castles or have a sand modelling competition. Beach frisbee and beach cricket are always great. Little small portable soccer nets are fantastic, otherwise just get some cones, you can buy them from the sports store or usually Kmart, set them up for goals or something like that and the kids can run around and play football or soccer or anything at all like that. Buy a hoop, they can practice basketball or netball in the hoops as well if they're a little bit older. Uh, little tee ball and, uh, and cricket sets are fantastic, you can play French cricket or hit a uh, ball off a, with a tee ball bat off either a top of a cone or a little tee. They're really good. You can use the soft balls rather than a tennis ball. Then, uh, and don't use a cricket ball because someone will probably end up getting hurt. Get a, a game of shuttlecock. Little rackets and a shuttlecock. Kids love that and they can play it often inside as well as outside. The other thing that um, kids absolutely love to do is get a couple of old sheets, give them tables, chairs, anything at all. They will make a cubby anywhere out of a sheet and they will spend hours in that cubby. They can make it anything, a cave, a house, anything on any planet that they like. So great big sheets or massive big pieces of material are wonderful. If you can go to the op shop and, and get uh, a couple of king size sheets, kids will utilize them. Uh, you won't see them probably for most of the day. Uh, chalk, again, great thing for home. Hopscotch, drawing on the walls, drawing on the fences, the next lot of rain that comes will wash it away so there's no problem or just get the hose and hose it down if you don't want the, um, the chalk around. Hula hoops, fantastic hula hoops, skipping ropes of all sizes, both large ropes for children to, um, to go in twos and threes or individual ropes. Even teach them to hop on the right leg and the left leg, do all sorts of activities like that with them. Potato prints, cut a potato in half, 
make some uh, shapes, get them in a stamp pad and let them do potato prints on paper. Newspapers, fantastic. You can use them for anything. You can use them for paper mache, you can use them for dress ups, you can roll them up and hit a softball for, um, for paper hockey inside or outside. Newspapers are fantastic for a whole range of, uh, of activities. Wooden blocks, again, you can do anything with wooden blocks as you probably can with Lego. Um, kites, oh my goodness, if you don't have a kite, make one. Make one out of paper bags, tie some string, make a few sort of holes so the air will go through and run around the backyard of the park with a kite. You can even paint and decorate them, the same as you can actually for, uh, for newspapers or newspaper clothes. Paper, paper aeroplanes are brilliant for kids. You can help make them, you can download from the internet, just Google paper aeroplane designs and even young children can follow the steps and make their own paper aeroplanes or their own supersonic paper aeroplanes. They can have races with them, they can have long throwing planes, they can have loopy ones, all sorts of ones and they can decorate them with paint or crayons. Magnets, oh, you can do anything with magnets, use paper clips with magnets some of your cutlery with magnets, anything at all. Kids will go around seeing what will stick to the magnet, will keep them, keep them amused for a long time. Photos, get them a little digital camera or, or your phone and let them take photos of what they're doing and then watch it back via the computer or the television. Children love to see themselves. And, um, and balloon volleyball. Balloon volleyball is fantastic, particularly on a rainy day inside. Any amount of balloons are fantastic. You can kick them, you can hit them, you can throw them, you can play with each other with balloons. And it doesn't matter if they break or pop, you simply blow up another one and do it again. So there's just a few ideas when you're traveling with children and also when you've got them at home for maybe a few days or a couple of weeks. Things to entertain them. So they learn to entertain themselves as well rather than always having their head in the TV or a video game or a, D, a, a, um, a DS. It's so important that our children learn to entertain themselves by using what's around them and what's provided. Of course, little ones, you can use bubble wrap as well. That's really good, keeps kids amused for a long time. And even the older children, you can set it up so, hey, put it on daddy's chair when he gets home and let, he, let him sit down and we'll all giggle and laugh because it'll sound like a bit of a rude noise. All sorts of things you can do with children from a young age to an older age. It's fun, you interact with your children and the family rejoins as a unit, which is what we need, instead of having them sit aside and play their games isolated without that, uh, without that family community involvement. So enjoy the holidays with your children.